Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Cape Rugby TV. We carry on talking about what's happening in the world of club rugby. Big thanks of course to our partners on board with us, Score Energy Drinks, MCHEM 24 Hour Pharmacy and Thorburn Security Solutions. Folks, uh, of course you will by now have heard that the league season has been postponed, but uh, nevertheless we will carry on taking a look at what's happening in the world of club rugby as of course our clubs remain connected to their uh, members in various uh, various manners and of course youth day this uh, uh, this week and a couple of clubs have in fact been busy with some outreach projects for their members otherwise it's a nice big full show for you this evening we again catch up with the dhl western province rugby women's side we'll be speaking to uh, danelle rousseau their team manager as well as some of the players and this co of course comes off uh, they're um, on the back at least of their good win against the Bulls ladies side this past weekend we'll also go down to the high performance center where we catch up with the under 20s and we go down to Lunga Rugby Football Club where we managed to catch up some of the players at uh, their training session always good to see the guys uh, staying active and of course uh, still maintaining the COVID regulations and of course this week it was a big day for Busy Bees uh, this Wednesday uh, Busy Bees ladies side of course in 2019 won the league and uh, they did a kit handover for the ladies as well as some of the players so we'll be catching up with alfred kewana and some of the guys from busy bees and we'll catch up with uh, Faisal felton the uh, general manager for club rugby at western province rugby but as i said the uh, dhl western province rugby women's side they came off a fantastic win over the weekend beating the bulls and of course this coming weekend they take on uh, Boerland. Uh, let's catch up with the ladies behind the scenes Yes, it's been like an intense amount of weeks without stopping and training hard and especially putting their bodies on the line like that every week. Is, we're going to week seven now and the girls are, are stronger, I have to say. They're getting stronger each week, they're getting better. Obviously, it's a learning curve for the new um, ki uh, not kids, new players as well and the experienced players getting in there, playing their role, but it's been a good few weeks. Everybody's putting in the effort and they're working. As you can, could have seen just now, they were training hard, putting in the work, and yeah, I feel like we're the team to beat this year, very convincingly, in every team actually. I was gutted at first when I had to learn that I was injured and not um, out for the year. But I'm so proud of the work the girls have put in. I mean, they're working really hard. I'm like super proud. Every week I make sure to watch every game and make sure that I encourage where I can and like send messages, text, everything to just keep the spirits up because I am part of the team after all. Yes, it's very exciting to play in the Western Cape as well because Boland is a team from here as well, so it's like Cape Town Derby or West Lincoln Derby. And it's exciting because we they're very familiar with each other. The players there and the players here are very familiar with, with each other and like we know the dynamics of how they play and how important it is to play your structure because Boland is not a, a weak team. It's, they are very they are the underdogs of this season. Like nobody expected the Boland team to obviously be number three I think they're number three on the log and they play, they're playing really well considering that the previous season they were like the lost in the log but very good playing from Boland but obviously I have very much faith in my, my goals <laughs> Yeah, we're excited because uh, we miss rugby since 2019. So yeah, we was like excited to play again, but yeah, ah, this round, first round and second round, yeah, we're getting tired. Like the body, like need rest. Yeah, yeah it was a good game uh, on second half because yeah, we just pull our socks up and then we try to do our best and then we we didn't give up because we know uh, that the, the left 10 minutes we just playing, playing, playing non-stop because yeah, I, I think we have 
conditioning wisely, so we didn't give up. They, 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 they were like, yeah, I can say, we playing with, with the big stadiums, then the other teams, they didn't like, they, they don't have that, that, that mentality, okay, they're playing big on big on stadium. Then we, 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 we used to, then we play uh, on the big fields. And then I can say, like, we run a lot. If, if it's, we started on Tuesday, Thursday, we run, we didn't stop. So that's why, like, we have that conditioning. Yeah. <sighs> we, uh, it will be a challenge to us because we normally travel on Friday and then we rest uh, on Friday. Then we wake up on Saturday morning and then we, our body is just relaxed. But on traveling on Saturday will be challenge us because we're not used to. And then our bodies just need the rest, little bit of rest. Yeah. Ik heb het gezegd, de enige, enige spanning kan op de enige dag zijn. En um, ik denk raar, zaterdag was een amazing wedstrijd geweest. Onze spelers het, het hard en karakter gewijs. En um, ik is baie blij dat het in ons gins gegaan het. Dat is nog steeds de enige spanning is wat onderwonnen is in die, in die, in die uh, de WC, in die premier de WC. En um, ja, dit was een goede score geweest. Ons het 38-5 gewen. Dus so, uh, is wonderlijk. Ons het een bonuspunt gekry wat voor ons aan top of the lock hou. So, uh, ons bye bye dankbaar daarvoor. Ons travel zaterdag ochtend, uh, ons gaan deur met de bus. Um, obviously ons toets en soos ek sê, dit is baie belangrijk om te weet dat ons is nie net klim op een bus en ons gaan nie, ons moet baie baie streng protocol volg voor ons gaan. Um, ons allemaal word getoets by de management en spelers en aan die kant ook, hulle moet volgens die baie baie specifieke protocol vir COVID um, die het regulaties daar kan gereed staan vir ons. Ons mag niet hier voor die tijd by die stadion ingaan, so ek type van goed, ons het allemaal ons accesskaart, ons word ingescan, ons koers word gecheck, drie dagen voor die tijd hou, ons het gemonitor, jy weet, al die type van goed. Um, maar om terug te kom na die, na die wedstrijd self, um, Boerland het radig baie baie goed gedoen in die laatste paar wedstrijde, en ek dink nie, en mens, ek skies vir die Engels, maar ek dink nie, mens het complacent raak nie. Die feit dat jy aan die boerkant van die, van die punte leer is, beteken nie dat jy elke wedstrijd gaan win nie. Um, ons doen voorbereiding, ons werk met de rijtijd in squad en jullie zal ook zien in die spankeesers hierdie week dat, um, dat ons gaan die squad nou alle meer begin gebruik um, met die doel om, om so sterk as moendlik te wees in elke wedstrijd. Sommige spelers gaan geris word, um, ons het nie iets as een BNC span nie, ons het een span en um, dit beteken nie as een speler geris, geris word en ons speel met een ander speler dat het een swakker speler is nie. Allemaal van ons is even sterk en allemaal het even veel karakter en hart en bijdraad tot die span. So, daar is beserings wat uit, of spelers wat uit beserings uit terugkom, uh, een of twee spelers wat teruggehou word weens beserings. So, uh, ja, ons gaan die wedstrijd vat tussen een final. Ons speel om elke zaterdag so dat die final is, want enige span kan op enige dag heen. Ja, verseker, die feit dat daar baie meer exposure gegeven word vir die vrouwen is absoluut fantastisch. Um, en ek kan rarig waard staan voor ons bestuurder ook, ek, ek het die gewonderlijke geleentheid om op hierdie platform elke week met julle te gesels. Ons kry oproepe van, jy weet, ander media platforms wat wil weet, jy weet, wat gaan aan, wat doen die vrouwen. En, en die, die exposure, jy weet, die platform wat vir ons gegeven word, wat, wat julle as, as Kuip, um, Kuip TV vir ons gegeven en Kuip Rakpie vir ons gegeven, um, jy weet, julle het een baie sterk platform vir ons, wat die exposure, gee, so die spelers bekend kan word, en so die sport evolve kan word, en, en dit is fantastisch. Um, jy weet, die spelers word nou by voorname begin ken, en um, jy weet, mense, mense contact ons, en sê, jy sê, jy het kruid gespeel hierdie naweek, jy weet, mense wat eerst geweet dat daar vrouwe rugby is nie, omdat daar nou um, die streaming is wat hier saru geoffer word op al die wedstrijde, en um, selfs mense wat die wedstrijde mis, wat dan terug gaan en op die skakel gaan kyk, jy weet, wat het gebeur, um, so ja, dit is rarig fantastisch dat, dat, dat vrouwen rakpie hierdie geleentheid kry um, om een platform te hebben waar exposure is en, uh, en dat hierdie sport dan kan groei. Je weet, bedoel, als mens gaan kyk vrouwen rakpie in Zuid-Afrika het rondom 2003, 2002, 2003 begin, post gevat. Um, en, en ja, hier is ons vandag in 2021 en ons speel Raand Robin 
en ons krij media exposure, jy weet, en dan kan jy ook dinge soos Facebook en Instagram en jy weet, al hierdie ander type van goed wat TikTok en ek weet nie wat als nie, um, wat ook die gelendheid geef vir die exposure. So dit is rarig amazing um, en dit kweek belangstelling by mense wat ek weet dat dit bestaan nie. En, en ook jong kinders, so ouders wat begin inskak en sê, jy weet nie, hoe krij ek my kind om te begin rugby speel of waar, waar begin ek? So dit is vir my, dit is, dit is, ek is so excited, jy weet, ek, ek is stout en ek kan nie wacht om te sien waar die sport weer 2 tot 5 jaar gaan wees nie. Jy weet, dit is, dit is great. to see the ladies so active oh, wow they must be so happy at the moment of course this comes after that big win against the bulls um at uh, dhl newlands this weekend we know that uh, the bulls of course had an axe to grind big week we, at least a big weekend coming up then for the uh, for the ladies side this coming uh, weekend as they take on neighbors borland so you can pretty much think of this as a derby match and uh, very exciting very exciting to see how well our women's rugby side is doing Folks, when we come back from the break, we're going to catch up with the DHL Western Rugby Under 20 side. Don't go away. <laughs> 